Hey everybody, this is Big Papa from Big Papa's Barbecue. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Oklahoma Joe's Bronco uh, Drum Smoker. Um, I just got this great deal at Walmart. They got them on clearance. These things normally run $299. Um, they got them on clearance at the uh, Walmart here in Hot Springs, Arkansas uh, for $138. But we're going to go over it. I'm going to show you how to set it up. I'm going to go over all the parts of it and how to season it so I can go ahead and get started cooking on it here uh, later on today. Um, first, we've got just the, I mean, we've got the smoker itself. It's got the big wagon wheels on it, so it's easy to move. It's got this uh, handle back here, so you can kind of dump it over and, and roll it around like a trash can. You've got your little tray over here to set up to uh, for prep work or when you're taking meat off or for your cutting board or whatever. One thing I really like about this is it's got the Kevlar seal all the way around. Um, it's a soft seal, and when you close it down, it seals well, but it also allows you to put your meat probes. If you're using a digital meat probe, it allows you to put those through, and it kind of closes down around it and seals. Um, if you look inside the smoker, you'll see right now it's still got the ring. That's where the... Uh, ashtray is going to go and i'm going to show you that here in just a second but you put your ashtray in that ring it's got a clean out on the bottom there's a uh, a little cap on the bottom that if you want to just spray it out you can spray it out and open that cap and it'll drain out um this is your ashtray one good thing about your ashtray if you look it's got the holes all the way around so you're going to get a good uh even flow 360 degrees around your fire but you just take your ashtray and you drop it right down into that ring that's already in there. Okay, um, we're gonna get ready to, uh, to season it. I read in the manual, the manual by the way has got a lot of good information. It's got what kind of woods to use with what kind of meat. It's got your temperatures for your medium rare, rare, uh, well done steak. It's got some good information in here, so it's worth reading. A lot of times these books don't have a whole lot in them, but this one is worth reading. Um, the manual said to let it smoke for at least two hours. Um, I'm going to let it smoke for a little more than that, and it didn't mention it, but what I'm going to do is I got some canola oil, which is, uh, has a high temperature uh, resistance, and I'm going to spray the inside of the smoker down with the uh, canola oil. It doesn't mention that in uh, the book, but I'm going to do it just because it'll make me feel better. I'm going to take this canola oil and spray it in, and I'm just going to take it and spray it all around the inside of the smoker. Like I said, it doesn't say to do this in the manual, but it just makes me feel better to get a coat of oil all the way around it. You just go all the way down the inside of the smoker. Try to coat it real well on the top of the smoker here. Just to get a nice coat. I'm even going to coat the ash pan. All right, the next thing that we've got is your charcoal tray. Your charcoal tray is just a standard tray. It's got your... Uh, right on the bottom so your charcoal can fall through as it burns down into the ash pan. It's got a kind of little neat handy dandy handle here to drop it down in there so you don't have to bend down so much. So that's pretty cool. You just sit it right there on top of the ash pan. And I'm going to go ahead before I show you the rest of the pieces and go ahead and light my fire and then that way it can be building up as I'm talking and getting ready to season it. So I just got a starter, a fire starter down in there. And today I'm just using some briquettes because I want to do it cheaply because all I'm doing is seasoning it. I'm not really cooking with it. I don't normally cook on stuff like this with briquettes, but all I'm doing is trying to get some heat to it. So once you get it started, of course, you just kind of pile your charcoal around it and let it go. All right, the next piece that we've got that goes in right after the charcoal this is your heat diffuser. You put this in right in, in on top and it kind of diffuses the heat, allows the smoke to still come up through and around, but it kind of keeps the direct heat from going up to your meat while you're cooking. So you just take that and just drop it down in here and you see that ridge right there. It just kind of hangs on that ridge. So you just sit there that like that. Next piece is just the grill grate. I like it because it's got these handy dandy handles here so you don't have to reach and try to find ways to get it up and it has two settings kind of like this if you want to cook closer to the fire it's got the lower setting down there or if you want it to be a little further away you can bring it up here so I think that's kind of cool I think it's a neat idea these are porcelain uh, coated so I'm not going to spray those down uh, 
We're just going to leave them like this. I'm going to go over a couple more things. I'll get this grate out of the way. We'll put it down on the... We'll just take it out for a second. This all comes with it uh, for the $138. It's got your meat hangers. I really like these too. They, they hang in here like this. And if you look here, they've got the corners on it. And they've got places where it lines up right there. So you can take it and set it in different positions and it locks in. So your meat doesn't swing around. So you can lock it in in whatever position that you want to lock it in. I think that's real cool and a good idea. So we're going to set those in just to show you how they work. We'll put each one of them in. So they've got those three hangers, and then it's got nine of these meat hooks. If you take these meat hooks, I mean, obviously, you just take whatever meat that you're wanting to hang up. You can hang ribs, you can hang sausage, you can hang, uh, I've seen people use uh, these and hang briskets and, and, and hang briskets to cook. But you just kind of skewer your meat on that part, and these hangers just go here. And they've got, comes with nine of them, so you can actually do three per hanger. So you can actually, in all reality, do nine racks of ribs at one time on this cooker. So that's really all the different parts of the cooker. For the uh, insides, I am going to shut it down. When you get ready to uh, season it, you need to open both of your flues up all the way. I kind of like these two. They've got the numbers on them. So you can, as you're going through and as you're learning how to cook on it, it's got your number settings. So you can go to a number one, you can go to a number two, number three, number four, or just wide open. And of course, for the seasoning, I'm just going to open up wide open. But that is a good way to keep up with uh, exactly where you need to be to keep the certain temperatures. Also have the your temperature gauge down here. One thing that I found out about those is those are glow in the dark numbers. So even if you're cooking in the dark, you can come out here and the the dial actually glows in the dark too. So when you're in the dark, you can kind of tell what range you're in, kind of keep up with uh, your cook even in the dark. So I think that's cool. But what we're going to do now is we're just going to let this fire burn up, let it get up to temperature, and we're just going to let it season. After it seasons for about two to uh, three hours, you're ready to cook, you're ready to go. It's just a quick way to set up the Oklahoma Joe uh, barrel smoker. I'm real excited to get the cooking on it and see how it cooks. I'll give you a video of that later. Have a great day. Okay, so I've been letting this uh, Oklahoma Joe Bronco smoker cook for about, mm, about three hours to season. I'm just going to open it up and let you see the inside, what it should look like. You can tell how everything is darkened up. Everything's got that good smoky full, uh, look on it. I put all the pieces in there so everything would get seasoned. Uh, here in just a minute, I'm going to actually put some food on there and cook it. I'm going to uh, let it crank back up and see what kind of cook I can get out of her. So that is the Oklahoma Joe Bronco barrel smoker, um, the seasoning part of it. I will do a video later of cooking on it.